Hello everybody, this is Angie at Cuckoo for Coupons and I am at Walgreens to do my Walgreens haul for the week. I'm excited, as per usual, because I have a digital spend booster of spend 25 and get $7 back in Walgreens cash on one of my accounts. And then we all should have gotten, at least I believe we all got it, it was a like a digital spend booster on summer items. It's spend 30 and get $10 back in Walgreens cash. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's summer items, summer something. But anyway, we all should have gotten it. There's a whole ton of items that you can buy for that. So I'm gonna stack those two together, I believe. And I'm actually gonna do a couple of transactions first to see if I can get a paper spend booster to triple stack them. But I don't know if I'll have that much luck. So we'll see, but even if not, I'm still super grateful for the two spend boosters that we do have. Um, I wanna remind everybody that I will have a printable breakdown below the video, so you can just print it out, take it to the store. It makes it so, so much easier. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. Also, if you have any questions or comments or you just wanna say hello, please do so. I would love to say hello back or answer any questions you might have. Other than that, let's get inside and find some deals. All right, so I am in Walgreens and I am gonna try to do a couple of small transactions to see if I can get a paper spend booster because I would love to be able to triple stack my two digital spend boosters. So that's what I'm gonna go for right now. So as I was walking past the makeup, I realized that this store still has some CoverGirl clearance. These face powders are $4.29 on clearance. We have a $4 digital in the Walgreens app that would make them just 29 cents. But also we have an Ibotta offer that does not say that it cannot be combined with coupons and it's for $3. So I'm gonna grab one of these because this is gonna be a $2.71 money maker. Next, I'm just gonna grab one of these Revlon tools. I did this last week on my other account, but I'm gonna do it on this account as well. So these Revlon nail clippers are priced $3.29 in my store. I'm just gonna grab one because I have a $3 digital coupon. So that's gonna make them just 29 cents. So those were the only two items I wanted to grab for this particular Walgreens account. So I just took them to the register. My $4 digital for the CoverGirl came off. My $3 digital for the Revlon nail clippers came off. My subtotal was a whopping 58 cents. I just paid that out of pocket. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I got $3 cash back making this transaction a $2.42 moneymaker. Okay, so I went ahead and switched accounts to my regular account, and I am still trying to get that paper spend booster so that I can triple stack it later. So I'm gonna grab some Hallmark Father's Day gift cards. So I don't know if everybody got these or what, but it happened on Mother's Day as well. I got a whole ton of $3 coupons. Well, now I got a whole ton of $3 Father's Day coupons. So I am gonna grab three of these and I'm gonna use three of those $3 coupons. So three of these total $13.97 because I grabbed one $3.99 ones and two $4.99 ones. Now, if you can find the ones that are $3.69 or ones that are $3.99, those are the best ones, but my store did not have a huge selection. So I just went with what I could get. So at $13.97 for all three of them, I have three $3 coupons that will bring them down to $4.97. And then I'm gonna use this 20% off of $10 or more because the Hallmark cards are regular priced items. So this is gonna take an additional $2.80 off, making all three of these cards a total of $2.17, which is amazing. So here is my receipt for the Hallmark cards. You can see they all three rang up and then my cashier scanned the 20% off coupon. That took $2.80 off. You can see it in the parentheses there. And then all three of my $3 digitals came off. My subtotal for three Father's Day Hallmark cards 
was $2.17. And with cards as expensive as they are now, this is a great deal. But guess what else is great? It's great that I also got a paper spend booster when I bought these Hallmark cards. So my luck was in my favor this time. I got a spend 40 and get $10 back in Walgreens cash. So I am gonna be triple stacking my next transaction. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this transaction working on my spend 30 and get $10 back in Walgreens cash on healthy summer products. So I'm gonna start off with some sunscreen. So the Banana Boat and the Hawaiian Tropic are on sale this week for $9. I'm gonna grab two of the Hawaiian Tropic. If you buy two this week, you get a $4 register reward. So grabbing two of them, that will total $18. We do have a $2 digital coupon off of one, but in my store, almost all of them have hang tags for $2. So I just went ahead and grabbed two that had a hang tag and I used the hang tags, $2 off of each one. So that's gonna bring them down to $14 for two. I'm gonna get back a $4 register reward for buying two. That's gonna make them $10 for two or $5 a piece. But keep in mind, all of these items are gonna be part of a spend deal, so the prices are gonna be even better. So next I'm gonna grab this Benadryl, which is also part of the Healthy Summer items, but it's also part of a first aid deal that we have going on. So it's priced $6.99 in my store. They are buy one, get one 50% off. But if you spend $15 in first aid products, you're gonna get a $5 register reward. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. We do have a $1 digital coupon on the bit of drill, so make sure you clip that. That's gonna make it $5.99. Now I'm gonna grab a few more items that are part of both deals, and that's gonna be Band-Aids. So the Band-Aids are part of the Spend 30 and part of the Spend 15. So I'm gonna grab two of the Band-Aids that are priced $5.99, but they are buy one, get one 50% off. I have a $3 off of two digital coupon. So at buy one, get one 50% off, the first one will be $5.99, the second one $2.99 for a total of $8.98. We have a $3 coupon that will make them $5.98 for both. But now we have to check our math on all of these items. So the first eight items have to total 15 in order for us to get the $5 register reward. The Benadryl was $6.99. The two Band-Aid items were $5.99 and $2.99. That is a total of $15.97. So we have met the $15 in order to get the $5 register reward. Now, if we add in the two Hawaiian Tropics, that's a total of $18 more. So all together, they're gonna total $33.97. And this is all before coupons. So we are now over the $30 that we need to be at in order to get the $10 in Walgreens cash on the summer healthy products. We still need more to get to my paper spend booster, but we have also met the $25 that we need to get the $7 in Walgreens cash. So let's grab a couple more items. So I'm just gonna do something very simple. The Garnier Fructis this week is on sale two for $8. Buy two, get a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna grab two for $8. We have a three off of two digital coupon that will bring them down to $5 for two. Then we'll get back that $4 register reward, making them $1 for two or just 50 cents each. And now after adding these two items, my total for everything is $41.97. So I have met all of my spend boosters. But that is not all because earlier in the month, I did receive this digital spend booster where if I make five purchases of $15 or more, I will earn $8 in Walgreens cash. And when I checked it before I left for the store, I only had two transactions left. And my first couple of transactions didn't qualify because one was on a different account and the other I was just trying to get a paper spend booster and I didn't spend 15. So this one will count towards this spend booster. So I will only have one left after this and I will be doing another transaction to, to earn that $8.
So I just wanted to let you guys know that I did have this and I will be using it in my next transaction. But enough about that, let's look at the receipt for this transaction. But really quickly, I wanna show you the paper spend booster that I received. This is it right here. And then I also will be using four register rewards that I received last week. I think it's $16 in register rewards. Now let's look at the receipt. Okay, so here it is. You can see everything ring up just as it should. I used my four register awards, my $4 one, my second $4 one, the $5 one, and the $3 one. I had the two $2 hang tags for the Hawaiian Tropic. My $3 digital for the Fructis came off. My $3 digital for the Band-Aids came off. And then my $1 digital for the Benadryl. My subtotal was $14.97. Now, you can see, if you look at it, closely that the paper spend booster, the one I was so excited about, did not scan. When they tried to scan it, it kept saying there was like an error and it wasn't valid. And then they told me that that's been happening to them for the last couple of days. So apparently that's like an issue right now. And they knew they had just given it to me because I just did a transaction right before where I got it. So they were like, don't worry about it. We'll give it to you after we finish this transaction. So I was like, okay. So I paid $14.97 out of pocket. And then I got back $17.41 in Walgreens cash. $10 for spending $30 on healthy summer products and $7 for my regular spend booster of spend $25 and get $7. And then they did issue me the $10 in Walgreens cash that I should have gotten for the paper spend booster. So I got a total of $27.41 in Walgreens cash. And then I got a $4 register reward for the Hawaiian Tropic, a $4 register reward for buying the Garnier Fructis, and a $5 register reward for buying the first eight items. So all together, if you add those together, I got $40.41 back. Now, if you look at my receipt, I paid $14.97, but if we add back all four of the register rewards that I used to pay, that is a total of $30.87. So I spent $30.87. I got back $40.41. So this entire transaction was free plus a $9.54 moneymaker. So for my next transaction, I decided to grab some of these four equals eight bounty paper towels that are on sale for $8.99 because last week I had a $6 manufacturer coupon print from the Catalina machine, which is amazing. So these will be only $2.99. Next, I'm gonna grab one of these all mighty packs that are on sale for $3.99 and I'm gonna use this $2 insert coupon, bringing them down to $1.99. Next, I'm gonna grab two of these tied to go pens that are buy one, get one free this week and they're normally two for $9. So you're gonna pay $4.50 for two, plus we have Ibotta rebates that are $1 back on each one for a total of $2 back. So you're gonna pay $2.50 for both of these. So all of these items totaled $17.48 before coupons, but then I was able to use my $2 paper insert coupon for the all and my $6 Catalina machine manufacturer coupon for the bounty. My subtotal went down to $9.48. But because it was over 15 to begin with, I will be getting back my $8 in Walgreens cash for doing my fifth transaction for that spend booster I talked about earlier. And here it is. So I paid $9.48. I got back $8.17 in Walgreens cash. And then I submitted my receipt to Ibotta for $2 back on the tied pens. So at the end, this transaction ended up being free plus a 69 cent moneymaker. So technically that's not all because I did do one more transaction where I got two of the Dollar Shave Club razors for $1.42 each. I would show it to you, but I could only do 15 minute videos, so I'm not able to, but just know I got a really good deal on them. And I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button, that would mean so much to me. It would also make it so that I can make longer videos in the future. That would be really great. 
I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and good luck couponing.